In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a histogram in Google Sheets, and then I'll also walk you through some of the customization options that you have for your histogram. So the first thing that we're going to do if we want to make a histogram is we need to highlight the range of data that we want to use. Um, so first, you're just going to highlight, and then what you're going to do is you're going to come up to Insert, and you're going to select Chart. So Google Sheets is automatically going to determine the chart type that they think makes the most sense for your data. So sometimes it's already going to be a histogram. If it's not, um, you just come to this chart type setting here and you would just choose histogram. Um, so that is basically creating a histogram. It's super simple. And then there are options to customize your histogram. So you would just select customize here. Um, if the chart editor isn't showing up for whatever reason, you can double click on your histogram or um, you can click in this three dot menu, edit chart. So customize, um, it has all these different options for customizing your histogram. Um, there's chart style where you can change the colors, um, background colors, border colors, um, Histogram, um, this is where you can change your bucket size, which is one of the things you're probably going to want to do um, depending on your data. Um, by default, again, they are going to kind of determine what they think is the best bucket size. Um, so right now it's auto, which you can see it's set to 10. So each bucket has a 10 difference. If I want to change that to 5, or maybe you also want to show item dividers. Um, this can also be useful depending on your data um, just to help you see what's going on better. Um, another option they have is outlier percentile. Um, this will make it so if you have outliers in your data, if you change these settings, it may group them um, with the closest relevant bucket depending on um, what your outlier is. Um, so that's the histogram settings and then um, if you want to change your chart and access titles and the fonts um, you'll find that under this setting. Series, um, this is where you can change um, the colors of your uh, buckets here and like the line colors. Uh, legend, if you want to change the position of your legend and the font you can do that here. Then they have the horizontal and vertical axis settings. Um, from here, you can change the fonts. Um, you can also set a minimum and maximum value. So maybe you only want to display um, values that show within a certain range or fall within a certain range. Um, you can do that by changing the min-max settings here. Um, and then the last one is grid lines and ticks. So if you want to show um, additional grid lines and ticks and change the colors, you can do that here. Um, this is always going to depend again on the data you have and whether it makes sense, but this can help um, make it easier to understand your histogram. But that's pretty much it for the video. Um, I'm going to place a link to the blog post where I go into further detail on some of this in the description if you want to read more up on this. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.